guys we are here so this video i want to talk about the apple watch and how it ejects water from the from the device like how fascinating like it shoots us water from the apple watch from the speaker's side i mean this is the watch i mean so tiny just on the wrist but the engineering is so fascinating so in this video i will show you another video here in slow motion very in a uh, uh, 1000 frame frame rate a second that the, you see the watch jets in water slow slow like you got to see the fascinating engineering behind it so that's what i'm going to talk about in this video and you know apple watch has been the the talk of things because since it was released in the year 2015 the first apple watch april 24 2015 was released with the cpu of x20 x1 so it has become the really fascinating features so let me show you guys the video watch and enjoy from top to bottom this is now 80 times slower 2000 frames a second i was immediately blown away at how much water actually came out in this shot it's mainly just because it's macro to your eye when you're looking at it in real life it doesn't look like that much comes out after the initial burst, it actually looks like a lot of the water gets trapped. It's trying to get out, but then gets sucked back in by the speaker retreating. So what it does is stops, allowing the water to settle against the back of the speaker, starts again, which causes another burst of water to fly up. It does ten full cycles of that. I think due to the sharp edge of the speaker hole, followed by the, the, the metallic surface that's curved, it caused droplets to form around the speaker holes, which once big enough would just drip off. I think if you were wearing the watch at this point, it would potentially just get pulled off onto your wrist. The surface tension of this droplet causes the smaller ones inside just to come out and join this one. I should point out that the macro lens is making this look a lot bigger than it is. That's actually a very tiny droplet there. The droplets were also able to climb upwards, which I thought was interesting. Whichever droplet was closest to the lip pulled the rest of the water out in that direction. And I saw here that as the droplet was getting bigger, it was starting to pull droplets back in that were trying to escape. See, that one almost made it out. And eventually after the droplet gets big enough, the smaller ones are able to catapult free. Once most of the water is out, you can get a much better look at the speaker surface just rattling away back there. Shooting a whole video in macro can sometimes cause you to lose the context and the scale of your subject. So this shot is just a reminder of how minuscule these little droplets are coming out. You really had to get right in there to see the speaker. Just for a laugh, I wanted to see if it would work in reverse, so I dunked the watch underwater with air in the speaker just to see if it would fire the bubbles out. and. Yes, it did. You can actually very clearly see the shock waves from the. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. It was really amazing. I mean, fascinating looking at that watch jetting water very slowly. Like, you could see the bubbles. You could see how it shoots out water. I mean, like, that's really a engineering, a big engineering behind that Apple Watch that just sits on your on your wrist and it just checks time, connects your phone, but. I mean getting to know it in slow motion after you swim what happens and how the water gets out it really is really fascinating so you know i'm glad you guys stick around and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash that like button subscribe see you in the next video